Man, we all hear about how much rappers get paid for shows time and time again. Rappers are constantly talking about how they get 100,000 a show, 50,000 a club appearance, 200,000 for a feature. But have you ever wondered how they actually split the show money? How much does the manager get? You know, how much does the DJ get? What about the photographers, the booking agent, travel? Let's get into the breakdown of it. Now, a couple years ago, there was a post on Say Cheese TV that collected the responses from managers around the industry and discussed how an artist who makes around 50,000 per show would budget their expenses and do splits. Let's get into the results of that. Now, the first role player we're gonna look at is the DJ. Now, the DJ pay varies a lot, but if you're the official DJ for a rapper, you can expect to make anywhere between $500 to $2,000 per show. And as someone who has done a lot of DJing in the past, those numbers make sense. Now that amount really depends on a lot of things. If you're a DJ who you don't design the set, you don't really warm up the crowd too well, you don't really have mic skills, you just kind of show up and hit play and applause, they're gonna give you $500. And to be honest, they might even try to negotiate less with you. Now on the flip side, if you're a DJ that you're known in your city, you design the set for the artist, you do a great warm up and get the crowd ready, you can handle the sound check, maybe you help out a bit on the road, you can definitely negotiate a payment, you know, somewhere around that $2,000 mark, you know? I'm sure if you're DJ Drama or uh, DJ Chase B, I'm sure you can negotiate way more, but that $500 to $2,000 ballpark is pretty accurate for 90% of DJs. Now, next up, we got the booking agent. Now, unlike the DJ who charges a flat rate, being a booking agent is a sales job, meaning you only eat from what you bring to the table. Now, the booking agent is basically the middleman between the artist and these shows, and they'll normally take around 15% of the show money. So if the artist gets booked for 50,000, the booking agent would get $7,500, which they deserve, man. They go out and get these shows for these artists, so. Now, next up, we have security. And the security easily has the greatest variance in comparison to anybody else on this list. Some artists will go out with multiple bodyguards, a driver, things like that. And then you'll have some artists that will have uh, my homie security. You know, they'll get somebody from the neighborhood to follow them with the strap and they'll pay them in what I call the WCC, weed, clothes, and clout. You also got to realize that not everybody needs the same level of security. If you're a gangster rapper, who you're constantly making enemies and you're, you know, you're making very aggressive music to where, you know, people might want to check you. You're going to need more security than, you know, an R&B pretty boy. But if you're just doing this professionally at a basic level, you can probably budget about $500 uh, for security. Now, in terms of the manager, this is a percentage that is very cut and dry. Managers make 20% of what the artist makes. Now, if you consult a lot of these music industry books, they'll tell you it's anywhere between 15 and 20%. But in 2024, that number is 20%. For you to get away with paying a manager 15%, you would have to be a very large, already established artist who is bringing in millions of dollars in revenue. So in this case, if the artist is doing a $50,000 show, the manager would get $10,000. All right, now the last team player we got here is the photographer. Now, photographers will get paid around $200 to $300 a show. Now, I know what you're thinking, and you know, you're probably saying, wow, that number is really low. And to be honest, it is. It's not the pay a wedding photographer would get. And I think they should get paid more. But the truth is, you know, music industry is not exempt from supply and demand. There is no shortage of photographers, and concert, you know, and celebrity photography is something that everybody wants to do. And if you've ever worked at a concert or anything like that, you'll know that photographers will beg to get media passes so they can get into the venue to shoot for free. So in the eyes of a lot of these photographers, getting paid anything is seen as a big bonus. Now, in terms of travel fees, you can probably budget around $2,000-ish for this. It really depends on how many people you're bringing with you and how luxurious you're trying to be. If the travel is just the artist, the manager, and a DJ, and you're flying commercial, you're staying at a basic hotel, catching Ubers, $2,000 should be plenty. 
Now, doing the math, if the artist is getting paid $50,000, after all the expenses, they should be leaving with around $25,000-ish for themselves after they pay everyone on their team. Now, if the artist and their manager want to be really, really cheap, they could probably squeeze out more money for themselves, but this is generally what it would look like. Now, be honest with me. Do these numbers surprise you? Is there anybody here who you feel is getting paid too much? Anybody you feel needs to be paid more? Let me know in the comments. It's your boy DJ T-Stomp, and I'm out. Peace. <laughs>